I want to apologize in advance to your bank account. Hey loves, welcome back. Girl, today I am back with another huge pink girly haul. It's basically just a collective haul. I've got some Timu stuff and I have been dying to try them. You've probably seen them all over. I got Ulta, TJ Maxx, Ross. It's just a collective girly haul. Fashion Nova, like I want to apologize in advance to your bank accounts because girl, it's a cute one. So, I also apologize if I sound like a gremlin today. I have been sick for a week now, and you just got to bear with me because my voice is super raspy. But yeah, we got a lot to get into. Go ahead, kick back, get comfy, relax. Let's hop into this girly haul. You guys know the drill. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to be friends, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. You know you watch this video, you don't subscribe, and we never see each other again. So girl, hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's start off first with what I got from Timu because it's a huge package. And then I'm going to move on to the Ross, the TJ Maxx, and all the rest. So this bag is going to be a lot to get through. I'm going to move through it kind of quickly. If you guys haven't heard about Timu, they have pretty much anything and everything you could think of on that website. Everything is super cheap and shipping took about two weeks. They sent over a bag full of goodies and they were sweet enough to sponsor today's video. So let's see what the tea is. They have been popping up all over my social media feeds. First up, we have this pink duffel. I thought this would be cute. So, I want to join a gym. Your girl needs to lose some weight. We're in the new year. Spring is coming up. And I was like, this would be a really cute gym bag. It's got the pink logo on it. I like how it also has two handles right here. This is super cute. Everything I got is $30 and under. And I want to say that duffel bag was around 15 but I'll have all the discount codes and links in the description box if you guys want to shop. Next up, I can't even remember everything that I picked out. Oh, okay, yes, now I remember this. Next up, I got this super cute pink hoodie. It has the pink logo and it's got leopard writing on it. Material is really soft. It feels like a very like lightweight cotton and I ordered a size medium. This looks like it's going to be true to size. I haven't tried anything on yet, but this is super cute. So how is everybody doing this week? Has everybody had a good week so far? I have been sick and this cold is like just not going away. It's driving me crazy. I'm ready for spring to be here. Next up, I got a really cute pair of slippers. Oh, now these are adorable, you guys. Look at that. They're soft. These are kind of like a baby pink. And they've got that really cute logo right here. Kind of looks like a designer-inspired pair of slippers. These are super cute. These look even better in person than they did online. Next up, guys, I went crazy with the pink stuff, is like a massive set of socks. They say pink on them. These are the long socks. I like wearing these like in the wintertime with just a t-shirt around the house. I think these are super cute. I got pink, black, white, just a whole variety. Okay, I had to take a little break and get some water. I literally cannot breathe through my nose right now. Next, I got a really cute pink backpack. This was just too cute. It had sequins on it. Do I need a backpack? No, but I was like, I can't resist. The sequins are what got me. The straps are super cute too. It says pink right here. Um, and this is like a nylon material. Is this not adorable? And then I got a super cute pair of pink French tip acrylics. Like, I hope these work out because these look really pretty. I've been wanting pink tips for a while and I always just do press on nails so I thought these would be super cute. And then, oh, I got another pair of slippers. These are just in a different color. Okay, these are super cute too. These are white. Same as the other ones, just white. They got the same logo. These feel really soft. I hope these fit. These are 39, but honestly, they look like they might be running a little small. Let me slip it on. That way you guys know if you need to size up. 
No, surprisingly they fit. I don't know why they look small, but they do fit. I posted this one on TikTok last night because I opened it and I just could not hide my excitement. I had to show somebody. I got the cutest two-piece pajama set. It's a little Barbie one and it kind of reminds me of Victoria's Secret with the pink stripes. It's a short set. You guys, this, I'll be sleeping in this tonight. Is this not freaking adorable? Feels really soft. Um, it's kind of a crop top. I don't know. I just thought this was absolutely adorable. I love this. Like, give me everything pink and Barbie. I'm here for it. And then I got a two-piece workout set. Here is what the top looks like. It's kind of like a navy blue and it says pink on it. This is super cute. Feels really thin. The pants look like, the pants look a little long. The waist looks like it's going to fit, but I'm not sure on the length. I'll pin a comment by these in the description so you know how they fit, but yeah, this is super cute. So I've still got like six, six or seven items left in that bag. I'm going to break the Timu stuff up into two videos because I actually have more packages from other places coming too. So this is kind of going to kind of be like a part one of part two of a massive girly haul. So because if I keep on with the Timu stuff, this is going to be a very long video. So that was everything for Timu for this video. You, if you guys want to shop them, everything will be in the description box. I found a really, like this is mm, a very cute set of Valentine's Day mugs. And I'm not really big on Valentine's Day. I don't like, I, like it's got to be certain things for Valentine's Day. So these were right up my alley. They're pastels and they remind me of those little sweet tart candies. So this was a set of four mugs. They say, be mine, love, hug me, and XOXO. These were only $9.99. Are these not the cutest? I can't wait to put these in my coffee bar. And honestly, I might even keep these out year round since spring's coming up because they're pastel. But I saw these and I was like, yes, you get in my cart. You're coming home. And then I found, this is just like a random little top. I've been loving the vibrant colors. I took a color test online to see what my colors were and these two shades were in my color wheel. So I've been like buying everything. I got this super cute little crop top from TJ Maxx for $7.99. You guys, I'm burning up. I feel like I'm running a fever. From Ross, I found this really cute Paris Hilton brush. It's a paddle brush. It's Valentine's Day themed. I don't know, I just thought this was so cute. I love Paris Hilton. This was $4.99. I'll probably use that brush just like solely for my extensions. And then, what is this? Oh, this is just like a random black top I got. You guys probably don't care about that. And then I got another pink top. I got a bunch of cute spring colors coming in. Is this not pretty? This is um, like one of those one size fits all shirts. This was $5.99. Okay, so from Ulta, so Marc Jacobs came out with a new limited edition perfume, and this is the Paradise one. I went in the store, they literally had one box left, and it was only the 1.6 ounce, I think this was $100 maybe. I wanted the 3.4, but they didn't have it. Packaging is really pretty. And here is what the bottle looks like. Is this not so cute? I love their Daisy perfumes. So the notes on this one, if I can ever find it, you guys, where are the freaking notes? All right, I'm going to have to go look them up online because it's not saying the notes on here. I hate when perfumes do that. Why would you not put them on the back of the box? Okay, so this is mainly a floral perfume, and it is, it says it's woody, fresh, spicy, amber, sweet. Still not seeing the notes. Okay, top note is poppy. I love a good poppy perfume. Does anybody remember Coach Poppy? I used to ride hard for that. Middle notes are floral notes and oak, and then it says the base note is ambrosian, ambroxan. Don't kill me. I can't pronounce it, but yeah, that that is the notes. Trying to think what what I could compare this to, and I really don't think I have anything that smells similar. It's very fresh, but also like very, very fruity and floral, but definitely more so on the floral side. 
um yeah i'm obsessed with it i think the bottle is super pretty and it's limited edition so if you guys do want to check it out make sure you go soon because they won't be bringing this one back so i placed a sephora order and i got some things that i've had in my cart for a while now i got some rare beauty and this first one i was so excited to try it's one of her highlighters so this is from selena gomez's new cosmetic line is this not pretty? I love how she did the packaging on this. I kept seeing this highlighter all over online. This is in shade Enchant, and it's a really pretty, like, baby pink. It's really pretty on. I'm not wearing it today, but I did try it on. Super pretty. And then I picked up a contour stick, and I had high hopes for this but it just blends away into nothing i loved the shade but it's just very very creamy and it kind of blends away into nothing so not sure how much i would recommend this one this was in shade happy soul now this blush i got like i'm already obsessed with this was in shade bliss and it's a really pretty it's kind of like a peachy mauve i guess you would say here is what that looks like and this one does like it's very pigmented you got to blend it for a minute but it's so pretty on all of her packaging is to die for I absolutely love it and then I splurged so this was kind of like my birthday present to myself I placed this order on Sephora and I was like it's my birthday I'm gonna treat myself so I picked up this Dior lip glow finally uh, did you guys know Dior is coming to Ulta? I'm so excited about that because now I can use my points. But I got this Dior Lip Glow. Like the packaging first off, 10 out of 10. This was in 007 Raspberry. You guys, this is so pretty on. Look at the applicator on it. It's huge. And like it's glossy. She is glossy. Lips are popping with this. I want to say this retails for about $30. But honestly, like... I feel like it's worth it, and it kind of has a minty smell to it, and then I got a free gift for my birthday. I got gypped from Ulta on my free gift. Ulta is getting to the point now. I feel like once, once I reached platinum, like they stopped with all the coupons. The birthday gifts suck. Ulta came, or Sephora came through though. I did get this watermelon glow. It's mini size, but this is from Glow Recipe. I was like, that's that's a decent one. And I think I got 250 points, so. Which reminds me, I forgot, hold on. I forgot I had something else in my Ulta bag. So I got this for my bag. This is from the brand Touchland. I kept seeing these all over the internet too. People were carrying these in their bags. This is a spray hand sanitizer. The packaging is so cute, but I just thought this was like a really cool idea. It's just a little spray mist hand sanitizer. I don't know. I forgot about that. But this was my free birthday gift from Ulta. A freaking Dermalo Dermalogi Dermalogica. Um, this is like a serum or something. I don't know. Like trash. Ulta has really been jipping people, I feel like, here lately on the coupons, the points, the sales, so. Anyways. Okay, so that was my Sephora stuff. Uh, stuff from Fashion Nova. My birthday was last week. By the way, thank you guys for all your birthday wishes. I posted a little short last week of our night out. I had such an amazing time. But <laughs> I ordered some birthday stuff from Fashion Nova to wear. And first up were these gorgeous like rhinestone clear heels i feel like these could go with just about anything and surprisingly they were comfortable to walk in i always feel so awkward in heels like if they don't fit right it ruins my whole vibe but these felt good on and i just thought these were really cute you'll know when you see the dress here in a minute why i went with those so i got two dresses first up was this magenta one you guys i know uh, this could also double as a Valentine's dress. Like, she is in your face. But it's a long sleeve dress, and it's kind of like, if I can get it up here. Oh, she's sparkly. It's knee length. Um, yeah, don't ask. I just, I saw it, and I was like, I think this would be really pretty on. This one I was obsessed with. It's one shoulder. It's like one sleeve. It's sequined. And this one was um, about knee length, and it's like ruched on the side. 
I was so excited for my birthday. My husband was like, get dressed up. He got a limo. We went out to a fancy dinner. I put this dress on and it never fails my luck. I legit started my period the day of my birthday and I'm one of those people. I have cysts and all that. So my swelling, like I legit gained probably 10 pounds on my period. So I was swelled. I was like, this is just my luck. I got a really pretty dress, having a beautiful night out and I feel like so, I mean, thank God I had a pretty dress that helped, but I was super bloated that night. And I was like, Mother Nature, why? Why did you have to do this to me? But Fashion Nova comes through every time. I had ordered two other dresses from a place called Pretty Tina. And I'm getting ready to email them because they haven't shipped them out yet. And I was like, so I ordered some Fashion Nova ones too because I wanted to have four options. Thank God Fashion Nova ships quick because the dresses came in literally the day before my birthday. So, long story short, Fashion Nova, yeah, I love them for like partying, going out, clothes, they every time nail it. So, I got a gorgeous flower arrangement in from Rose Forever New York. They have Eternity Roses. They're real preserved roses that last for like anywhere from two to three years. And they come in gorgeous suede boxes. So, they sent me this one from their Valentine's collection. And let me get it set up. So pretty. So, it's got light baby pink roses in here. They smell absolutely amazing. Like, when the box arrived, you can smell it through the box. It's such a pretty scent. And it's got their logo on the side. They sent me... They sent me a set last year and I still have them sitting on my ottoman. But yeah, I just, I, these are perfect for like Valentine's Days, birthdays, whatever. They did give me a discount code for you guys to use. It's not commission or anything, but if you want to save some money, I'll have that in the description box. But yeah, are these not gorgeous? I thought it was really cute in the heart-shaped box. Um, and you're probably like, I'm wow, I cannot believe you didn't go with a pink one. I have a pink suede one from last year, so I thought the black and the pink would look really pretty together. I'm probably going to going to keep these displayed back here on my vanity but so there's the one I got in today and then this is the one that I've had for almost two years now this one is huge that's from their pink suede collection but they always look so pretty like displayed on my vanity and I keep this one on my ottoman and this one is still going strong it still has its scent and the roses have held up pretty good so yeah highly recommend Okay, we're almost to the end. You guys say you prefer the longer videos. I feel like YouTube has been pushing the shorts out like crazy. I can get triple the views on a 15 second short than I can on a video that I spend two days filming. So you guys let me know in the comments if you still do prefer longer videos. Hopefully you're all still here with me. So next up, Duncan released a super cute Valentine's collection. They're like clear and they've got glitter, pink glitter, hearts in them. I went to three Dunkins in a day searching for them. Didn't find them, but I did find this super cute hot pink one. This was $14.99. It's stainless steel and it came with a straw. I walked in, I asked them about their Valentine's and they were like, we don't have them yet. They haven't come out. And then I turned around and saw this. I was like, okay, this will work. This will work. Uh, I think it's super cute. Personally, I'm more of a Dunkin' girl than I am a Starbucks. Their coffee just goes down smoother to me, and I love their croissants. So, yeah, I thought this one was adorable. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw it, but I know my YouTube girls that haven't seen it would want to see this. I just think it's super cute. So, hopefully I get lucky and find their Valentine's Day tumblers sometime here soon. And then from Amazon, I picked up a couple things. So I found this really cute cosmetics bag and it kind of reminds me of the Stony Clover ones. It's pink. Oh my gosh, it's already got something on it. It's pink and it says glam right here. I don't know, I thought it was really cute. I think this was like 10 bucks or something. I just thought this was adorable. And then I got a couple of skincare things. I found this really cute really cute I say cute way too much not really cute really cool face mask it's a rub on face mask so here's what it's like it's a green tea face mask and you literally just rub it on I hate the ones that come in a squirt out too because I always end up making a mess so I really wanted to try this one out smells absolutely amazing it just this is from the brand CYCY that's how I'm gonna pronounce it so I'm excited to try this one out and then I got this little Pacifica 
Collagen Prime Blur and Hydrate Serum. There it is. I've already been using this one. It feels amazing on my skin. So I've been buying a lot more off Amazon here lately, even though I feel like they are totally screwing everybody on the Prime shipping. Have you guys noticed if you get on there and you order, it is no longer two days. It's like a week for shipping time. I'm like, why am I paying for Amazon Prime at this point? I don't know. Just really annoying. And then the last thing I got, so I got this Smile Direct Club. This is one of their refill kits. The original one, it's a teeth whitening kit. And you guys, it really does work. So the original one I got came with the LED light. And it was like 50 bucks from Walmart. I've already went through those, but I didn't need the light again. Amazon is selling the refill pins. It was like four of these refill pins and it came with a random like lip balm. I don't know why. For 25 bucks. So I was excited about that. This stuff really does work though. I'm trying to get my teeth bleached at the dentist, but I got to have a tooth worked on first so they won't bleach them. So I've been using this at home. And honestly, after using this, I don't even think I'm going to have to go to the dentist and get them bleached because I have seen such a difference in just one week. And those Crest White Strips, they kill my teeth. When I used to use them, they would just hurt so bad. Surprisingly, those, like there's no pain. And you do it twice a day for five minutes with the little UV light. And I'm telling you, in a week, I could tell a huge difference in my teeth. So, yeah. Definitely recommend them if you want to check them out. This isn't sponsored or anything. I bought those with my own money, but it really does work. So, if you've made it to this point in the video, drop me some little kissy face emojis down below in the comments. And I think that is it for this haul. Like I said, this is part one of part two. I still got some more packages coming in. So as soon as the rest of that comes in, I'll have that haul up for you guys. And let me know. I want to post a updated beauty room tour because I rearranged my whole room. I needed a change really bad. Like winter time has just been killing me. And I'm like, I need everything. I just need a re refresh. So I've changed my beauty room up and I'm hoping to get a pack system here soon. I was building one about two weeks ago online and the stuff keeps going in and out of stock, but I'm hoping to have that done possibly by spring. So this is probably going to be like my last beauty room tour with the way it looks. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. I'm thinking about posting that one next. And other than that, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I love you so much. I hope you all have a great rest of your week. And everything will be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social medias. If you guys want to come follow me over there and keep up, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you back here on my next one. Bye guys.